Ooh, it's a mess. Everybody's messy, honey. And I'm here to talk about it. Want to hear it? Here you go. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a minute. I see I have some new subscribers. Welcome. Welcome to the pack. Welcome to the gang gang. And for my subscribers who have stuck around and waited for me to come back, like, where the fuck is this bitch? Yeah, I've been gone for a minute. A lot of things have happened. A lot of things we got to get into. But thank you for hanging in there with me and staying with me. And I'm going to try to start back being more consistent with dropping my videos like I was in the beginning. I kind of slacked off because I just be busy. I be busy. I have a full-time job. And I just be busy. And I have a business. I just be busy, and sometimes YouTube takes a back seat. So I will try to be more consistent. Now, let's get into this tea because you need this tea in your life, honey. First, uh, now, you know, there's been a lot of things going on since the last time I dropped a video. So I'm not really going to regurgitate a lot of the stuff because. You've already heard about it from other YouTube YouTubers. So I'm not going to regurgitate stuff that happened last week. I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to talk about Will and Jada Smith, honey. I'm going to need them to start printing up some MDA, NDAs. Because August Alcina went on an interview with Angela Yee. And he told his truth, baby. He put all the tea out. He put all the tea out and he said that Will Smith gave him the blessing to so much date Jada, pretty much. You can date her, yes. Now, you know, for some years, Will and Jada have denied adamantly continuously deny that they are swingers. They deny that they have an open relationship. But yet, out of their own mouth, they say they no longer have a marriage. They have a partnership. They are life partners. Now, what that means is we're never going to divorce. Never. Um, you will never marry someone else. I will never marry someone else. No matter what's going on, when it gets to the point where uh, you're not interested in me, uh, I don't turn you on, uh, you looking for something else, uh, you can go ahead and do you, and I'm going to go ahead and do me. You just let me know who you're dealing with. I'm going to let you know who I'm dealing with, and we're going to keep this thing stogie. So... There will be no divorce, ever. We together until death. And so pretty much that is the agreement. Now, why they want to continually deny that, that if you swing up, you swing up. I mean, pretty much that's what you're doing. You a swing up. If you have an open relationship, an open marriage, where you allow other people to come in and date each other, she can have somebody date somebody and Will can have somebody date him. He can date somebody, but y'all still married. That's an open marriage. I mean, what you don't understand. This is what you're doing. And August Alcina went on there and I believe every word that he said. I believe he told his truth. He didn't hold back. He said, he, and I quote, he said, I could die and be happy knowing that I love someone fully with my full self. He said he gave everything to the relationship with Jada. And I guess he didn't say this, but I'm assuming that he 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 was saying that he gave all of his self to the relationship with Jada. And then I guess came upon the realization that, hey, this is not my woman. She will never be my woman. Because she's never going to divorce Will. So me and her can never really, really be together. I'm going to be the side piece. I've been the side piece for a couple of years. So 
I'm gonna have to pull back from this. I'm gonna have to stop the relationship. And so he did that. He said it was affecting his mental state. It was affecting his health. The fact that he was giving so much of himself to the relationship, and I'm assuming he wasn't getting that back. Because as a married woman, there's so certain things that Jada just can't do with you, August. She just can't. You know, y'all be seen at a couple of places together, you know, if Pavarossi just happened to be there. But she's not finna be doing, going to the BET Awards with you. She's not finna, unless Will is there. Now, understand, August was introduced to Jada through Jaden, Jada's son. Jaden brought him home and introduced them to. Uh, August Alcina is, if I'm correct, 26 years old. Jada Smith is 48. So it ain't like they bumped into each other at a concert and they was like, hey, let's hang out. No, Jada, Jaden brought him to the house as his friend. Now I've never seen, maybe there are some out there, but I've never seen pictures of Jaden Jada's son and August Alcina together. I've never seen any pictures, but they friends. Now, how does that work? You bring your friend home, your mom ends up hooking up with him. So, are y'all still friends? Uh, and when the relationship dissolves, do y'all remain friends? Or uh, he was almost your stepdad? Uh, I don't know how that works. That's really, really uncomfortable, I would think. And he, all of this says he's, he still has a lot of love for Jada. He still loves her with everything in him, you know, but he just had to, and he's been going through some health problems as well, where he was, uh, just a few months ago, he was paralyzed. He couldn't, he just woke up and he couldn't move. His, his nerve, something going on with his nerves. He had to learn how to walk again type stuff. And he's just been going through. He has had a very troubled um, life growing up as far as his mom and uh, everything like that. They don't set horses. So I guess when he got to know Jada and linked up with her, the fact that she is a, a more older woman, he, he just latched on to her. He uh, never was really that close with his mom, so maybe that played into it with Jada. Um, so when Jada linked up with him, that, that makes her a cougar, right? But men been linking up with younger women twice their age, younger, forever. This is nothing new, but when women do it, we're called cougars. But when men do it, you don't call them nothing. That's just what men do. No, they got to get called something, old goat or something. Now, the the, the Smiths, Will, Jada, Willow, Jaden, all of them have came out and pretty much dragged Shane Dawson for Back, this was some years ago, he had a picture of Willow Smith and he was allegedly playing like he was masturbating to the poster. Uh, and this is around the time uh, Willow had to been around nine when she made that I whipped my hair back and forth song. And so this was a while back, a while, while back. But the video is still up on his channel. And they came out when they found out about it. Oh, they read him. They came out and they read him. He has yet to respond to that. But a couple days ago, he dropped a video responding to Tony Westbrook. How you skip over this situation to talk about this situation. Now, just a couple of months ago, he responded to somebody uh, 
somebody dug up something else on Sean, da Sean Dawson and said, Shane Dawson, and said that he, uh, on his podcast, he was saying that he took his cat and was rubbing his cat up against his private parts until he uh, uh, came or, or whatever. And so he responded to that saying that that was just my dark humor. I was very young back then and that's what my that's what I did to, you know, make comedy, you know, and obviously when he first started on YouTube, people were eating it up. That was his audience. They ate that up. They liked it. That's how he ended up with millions of subscribers. People felt that this dark comedy was funny. That shit ain't funny. How's that funny? That's disturbing. That's a problem. You rubbing your cat up against your private parts till you explode? Are you kidding me? So he responded to that, but he didn't respond to, he has yet to respond to the Smiths. So Toddy Westbrook came out and threw everybody under the bus dropped a video saying that Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star are the ones that helped her drop the video by sister uh, during this Ch James Charles takedown uh, where she says that they told her all kinds of things about James Charles who had came on YouTube, been on YouTube for, what, three years and shot past all three of them who've been on YouTube for like 10 at the time. And he got way more subscribers. He became way more popular than the three Stoogers, uh, Toddy Westbrook, Shane Dawson, and Jeffree Star, the three Stoogers. So, and, and they felt some type of way about that. He became YouTube's golden boy. So they felt some type of way about that. Toddy Westbrook also went on to say that after she posted the Bi Sister video about that was breaking stuff down about James Charles. Now, you're not finna tell me that just cause he didn't shout out your gummy bears uh, and he shouted out somebody else's vitamin gummies that just set you off. That just broke you down, Toddy. That just made everything just was jacked up after that. No, it was more to it. You had people in your ear, James Charles, not James Charles, uh, Jeffrey Starr and Shane Dawson was in your ear telling you stuff about him. And they knew you were James Charles' mentor. So, she claims that she did the uh, James Charles by sister video. Shane Dawson helped her with it. Now, mind you, he had dropped a video a week before saying that he had nothing to do with that. He had nothing to do with it. He didn't know she was going to drop it and blah, 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 blah. And he did this whole long dissertation on Instagram, I believe. And I think he dropped a video. I don't watch these people. I think he dropped a video about it. I, I don't watch these people. I don't watch James Charles. I don't watch Tati. I don't watch Jeffree Star. Now, I do watch Jeffree Star a little bit. I like his makeup. And James Charles' makeup is very, very good. He, they're very good makeup artists. But as far as Shane Dawson, I've never watched him. His brand of dark humor, never, I never liked it. Um... How he got makeup palettes, I don't know. I guess anybody can make a, have a makeup palette because I've never seen him wear makeup. Never. I've never seen a video of him doing him his face full of makeup. Uh, Jeffree Star does it all the time. And I will watch Jeffree Star do his makeup sometimes. But I've never seen Shane Dawson do videos on makeup. putting Actually putting makeup on. So... And I just never liked him anyway. It's the way he looked. I don't like him because of the, the slanty uh, parenthesis eyes. I just don't trust him. He looks looks shady. 
I don't like the eyes. It's the eyes for me. So, uh, he, after Toddy dropped her video, uh, talking about, you know, throwing Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson under the bus, uh, you know, she did a little, tried to cry a little bit, and she said that YouTube reached out to her and told her to take that video down, the Bye Sister video, take it down and, and private it because it's making the platform look bad. Hmm, is that right? So she did. And so I guess she came out with a video after she had been missing for about a month or so. Uh, nobody knew where Tati was. And all of a sudden she just come back. She started dropping like lyrics. I've been gone. You waited. I'm back or some crap like that. And people thought she was going to write a song or something. Girl, bye. So... Shane Dawson uh, dropped a video after Toddy dropped her video, throwing him under the bus. Shane Dawson dropped his video. She's lying. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's lying. Those are fake tears. Oh, my God. And uh, Shane Dawson's boyfriend decided to come out. And, you know, he uh, wrote some stuff on Instagram or he tweeted or whatever the fuck. Uh, that he, You ain't even got nothing to do with this. Sit down. Um... I'm talking about it, he, 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 it's today is the day, it's not the day and all of that. Boys, sit down. Because your boyfriend is just as guilty as everybody else. The three stooges, all three of them are just as guilty. Tati, Shane, and Jeffrey. All three of them. The, yeah, so all of them, it's trash. Trash. Yeah, so I'm going to need Jada... Smith to Red Table Talk herself. I'm going to need her to go to her Red Table and have a conversation with herself. Girl, what are you doing? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? You could be you could be opening the eyes of millions of people and you could set a trend and other people can start doing their relationships like that. Maybe the divorce rate will go down. You ain't got to lie, sis. Golly, you ain't got to lie about it. I mean, if y'all got an open relationship, y'all got an open relationship. We got eyes. We can see. We see what's going on. So you constantly denying it don't help. Just makes you look bad, Jada. So in other news, St. Louis City and County have been mandated, meaning like, it's mandatory that they wear masks out in public. You can't go to a gas station, grocery store. You can't go nowhere without a mask on. So how are they going to, I don't know. So who's keeping track of who got a mask on and who don't? Uh, I guess gas stations, like convenience stores, they won't let you in if you don't have a mask on. Who's standing at the door not letting people in without a mask? Who's doing that? Who's getting paid to do that? Who's standing at the front of the grocery store uh, turning people away that don't have masks on? Who's doing that? I, how, I don't know how you guys are going to implement that. Everybody wear a mask. Making it mandatory. People are going to wear a mask if they want to. If they don't want to, they're not going to wear it. That's part of being in the U.S. It's a free country. If you don't, you know, it, the curve, the, the pandemic is not curving. It's steady rising. The numbers are steady rising. And I believe what's going to happen is they're going to end up shutting the state down again. The state of Missouri. They're going to end up shutting it down again. And the, I'm in Missouri, but the part that I'm in, I'm more rural. I'm more, I'm more like in the country of. I'm out by Jeff City, Jefferson City, and Columbia City. Columbia numbers is getting up there too. They, I, I think they, I know with St. Louis City, they was talking about making it mandatory for Columbia residents to wear a mask in public. I don't know if that was actually 
you know, put on paper yet, but I know for a fact, St. Louis City and County is mandatory that they wear a mask now. So, you guys, be careful over the 4th of July holiday with your partying and, and <clears throat> being close to people. And you know, I know everybody wants things to be back to normal, but in this, this is a new normal. You can't act like things are like it was in 2019, cause it ain't. So you can't act like that. You have to act accordingly, you have to adjust accordingly. Keep your hands washed, keep sanitizer on you to wipe your, keep your hands clean. And if you have to wear a mask, wear a mask. Maybe if you were, if everybody wore a mask for a whole week, we should see the numbers go down. So, but people are studying trans, transferring it from person to person. This is never going to go away if that happens. And you can't be hard-headed and be so stubborn and stuck in your ways and I can do what I want to do that you're, you're not protecting yourself nor others. This ain't just for you. Wearing a mask ain't just for you. It's for others because if you have it and you are not um, showing signs, you are asymptomatic, you still can be giving it to somebody, even though you are you don't feel sick. You still can be giving it to somebody else. So the mask is not just for you, for your protection, it's for other people's protection as well. So yeah, if where I live, people were mandated to wear a mask, if you come in my store, I'm gonna turn you away because you don't have a mask on. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir, go get your mask. I got a box of 50 in here if you wanna buy it. I will purchase it for you through the door and you can put one on, then you can come in here and shop. Other than that, you're not getting in here. No, ma'am. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. Remember to like this video, share it, subscribe if you want to, and I love you for watching. Bye.